ब्योरा सपनों की Welcome to Edua. I'm Devesh and I'll be your mentor for physics. In this chapter, we will study about the physical world. So, in our study of physics, two aspects play very important roles. The first is the study of forces and the second what is known as the great conservation principles. Let's talk about both of these one by one first let's talk about the types of forces that we encounter in daily lives if you look at different phenomena going around you you could very well identify different types of forces that exists in nature the first one due to which every object falls to the ground is the force of gravity you would also know about the electrical forces by which the charges attract or repel each other like charges repel each other and unlike charges attract each other there's also the force of magnetism also let's say if you tie a rope or a string to a block and hang it from a support or a ceiling next suppose if i attach a string to a block and hang it to the ceiling let's say then the block remains hanging so on one end the gravity is pulling it down but it's not going down so i can conclude that the string must apply some force on it similarly if i keep let's say a block on a table then i can say that the gravity is attracting the block but it's still not going down so the table must be pushing upwards on the block so there are these kinds of forces we call the force exerted by the table on the block as the normal reaction and the force applied by the string on the block upwards as the tension in the string because it's essentially caused by a taut a string under tension now as it turns out we can classify all of these different kinds of forces into four categories number 1 comes the gravitational force it's the force that is responsible for every mass attracted by every other mass in this universe it is governed by the law of gravitation which you might have studied in your earlier classes it goes as the force equals g m1 m2 by r square here m1 m2 represents the masses of the bodies and r represents the separation between them g is known as the universal gravitational constant so gravitation is a force which has puzzled physicists for a very long time let's move on to the next kind of force which is the electromagnetic force as i pointed out in the previous sections electricity and magnetism are two aspects of the same phenomena called electromagnetism so all the other kinds of forces that i pointed out the forces by the string on the block the force by the table on the block and all different kinds of forces can still be classified as electromagnetic how is it possible that a table applies a force on the block and it's electromagnetic in nature but then if you look closely table is made up of several atoms and molecules which are held together by strong electromagnetic interactions between the atoms and molecules and when you put a block over it it applies a force downwards which tries to pull these atoms and molecules apart and since they are held together by strong forces they repel the atoms of the block that was just put on so essentially the force that you are feeling as you, the block is not going through the table is of electromagnetic origin now if you look at the string that we use to tie the block to the ceiling the situation is somewhat similar the block is trying to pull down the string but the atoms and molecules of the string are joined together strongly are held together quite strongly by electromagnetic forces the interactions between the molecules so here also the force that is responsible to not let the string extend or break for that instant 
is of electromagnetic origin. Another example could be the force of friction. If I have a rough surface and I place a block over it and I try to push it, then the surface applies a force on it. Why is that? If you look closely to the surface, the adjoining surface, it's quite rough. If you look at microscopically, there are a lot of grooves present on both the surface. So essentially, when you put the surface over other, the grooves interlock. And when you try to push it apart, there again, you are not able to break through the forces that lies between the molecules. So basically, here also, the force is of electromagnetic origin.